Thanks for choosing DocuFlow template. So, if you are seeing this video, you have started working on this DocuFlow template and you are trying to build a good looking documentation website. So, right now you will have a notion page like this where you can see all your pages. So, the first thing is first, you have to change all the content to match your documentation. So, what you have to do is you can delete all the pages here and you can start adding your own uh, set of pages whichever you want you you see this path property right this uh, path with slash is uh, the home page in your website so you can see the properties here in uh, usage guide uh, so all those pages you see here are uh, in your website So if you don't mention the path property, bullet automatically assumes uh, this title and converts into a slug. For example, this FAQ blogs, it converts into FAQ hyphen blogs. So this pro path property is optional, but you should at least have one property with slash. Otherwise, bullet doesn't know which is your home page or root page. It will simply render this table as a as your home page you can also see there are this meta title meta description and category properties so all these meta title and description are important for your seo so uh, meta keywords is also for seo and this publish property if you uh, have some page in draft and you don't want that to be published you can just uncheck this property and that page won't be rendered or published in bullet so you won't get this page slash getting started published in bullet and then this category is just for your reference this is just for ordering your pages here in this uh, sidebar so here if you see this sidebar uh, all the inner pages if you see has three columns so one is the sidebar one is the main content and the other one is table of contents so if you want to rearrange any property here so uh, all these pages are grouped by categories here if you see uh, go to group you can see this is grouped by category if you want to rearrange any of those category uh, you can feel free to rearrange this category here and uh, that will be rearranged here and if you want to change category of a page and move this somewhere else uh, so you can change the category of each of this page here and you can uh, rearrange this uh, entire sidebar if you want to create a new category you can click add a group if you want to hide some category move it to hidden group uh, so yeah that's uh, so if you click hide you will be able to hide the entire category and uh, from the sidebar so let's now see how the website is rendered in bullet so here if you see this uh, page this is the root page uh, so what we actually do is we actually add some custom CSS uh, this happens when you are duplicating the website so we add a custom CSS based on the template that we choose so when you remove this template it looks exactly how it is there in Notion so uh, when you paste the CSS so you can see it appears in a like beautified way so all those styles and themes are in the css file uh, if you want to edit the css you can see uh, go to this url and see what uh, css we have written and uh, if you want to change a um, brand color and uh, change it to uh, a specific color you can go to this and change this brand color to for example if i want to change it to green uh, let's say red color so you can see a lot of these hover colors uh, this card colors everything is changed to red this icon background so everything is changed to red so even if you add a cta here in the nav bar you can see everything will be changed so uh, right now I am just resetting this so uh, all these uh, nav bar colors, puta colors so whatever branding changes you want to make you can change everything in uh, 
all these uh, theme editor so yeah uh, happy customizing thank you